Gerald. The person you have called cannot be reached at this time. At the tone, please leave a message. Mason. It's Mason. Hi, Mason. Ms. Erin. May I call you back? This isn't really the best time for me to talk. What are you doing? Driving and talking to you. So who are you following this time? <laughs> How did you guess that? Or are you following me this time around? It was pretty easy. I didn't see you around here, so I thought you must be on the trail of some new suspect. <laughs> Look at that. I can't sneak anything past you, can I, young lady, huh? You'd make a good detective, huh? <laughs> Would you like to come and work with me? <laughs> uh-huh. Now you're a comedian. <laughs> Where'd this guy go? Who? Miss Aaron, dear. You're ruining my concentration. I'll call you back the first chance I get, I promise you. There you are, my friend. What the? Dr. Nuri Kavanaglu, you must be the boy's Uncle Michael. Get to the point. Where's my nephew? Well, thanks to me, Michael, sir. He's alive. But first, as you can probably guess, we really need to agree on a price. And as you can guess, I'm no fool either. Understand? If you know something, tell me so I know you're not an imposter. I'm not an imposter, Michael. When they cut off the little finger of your nephew's right hand, I sewed it back on. We did a blood transfusion. We had to. Uh, his blood's A positive, is that correct? Right, Michael? See? I only want to help out the boy, of course. If the boy stays where he is, he'll die. He needs to get some help. If you don't tell me where he is, you won't get a penny. That's your call. One second. What's your name again? Nuri Kobanaglu. You're giving me a check? So I can walk into a bank and cash it? Do you think I'm some sort of fool, Michael? Assuming I didn't get caught at the bank, how do I know the check won't bounce or be canceled? My checks don't bounce. Who do you think I am? And if you're telling me the truth, then I won't turn you in. It's not that I don't trust you, man. That aside, what I want is the money to be paid in cash. Be here tomorrow, let's say at midnight, and bring the money with you. And I'll tell you everything I know about the boy and his captors. Have a good night.
in all units. Shots reported in downtown warehouse district. Any available units proceed to the scene and call in immediately. Where is he now, Mr. Mike? Where's who? Nuri Kobanoglu was meeting here with you tonight. But how did you know that? When I said we were tapping your phones, I wasn't kidding. We heard the call. You must have forgotten. You were going to meet in this remote area, despite me telling you not to try and resolve this by yourself. I knew if I told you, he'd be scared off by the police. I wanted to talk to him first, and then I was going to call you. So did you learn anything? Nothing. He knows nothing. He's just some opportunist trying to make some fast cash. He saw me on TV and wanted to get some money out of me. He took off running when I exposed his plan. Nothing worth mentioning. Yeah, well, we'll be the judge of what's significant. I'll tell you one last time, Mr. Michael. Don't try and do anything again without informing me beforehand. You need to tell us everything and let us decide. 